We know that Halo Infinite is going to have campaign and multiplayer, but the multiplayer is going to be free to play, leaving the campaign the cost $60 by itself? It seems rather steep, and it seems like we're not getting the full picture of what Halo Infinite has to offer. So in this video, we're going to dive right into it. Stay tuned to the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our gameplay commentary kind of video. Today we're talking about what else is coming with Halo Infinite. If you guys like these discussion videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. It helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to see this video and join in with the discussion as well. As stated at the top of this video, we do know that Halo Infinite is going to have a campaign and it's also going to have multiplayer, but the multiplayer is going to be free to play even the cost of Halo Infinite's campaign to be $60 and for just a campaign it's going to be rather steep to get people to jump in and pay that especially for a game like Halo where most people after the initial month of the game being out everyone kind of jumps over and plays multiplayer for most of the time which then also makes me think what is 343 going to do to justify the $60 price for a campaign I have a feeling we'll have some extra modes coming in with this game as well. Now hearing this argument straight up guys, you're probably thinking, well, ODST was $60. That was done back in 2009. Yeah, but there was also Firefight that came with it, as well as all the maps for Halo 3's multiplayer on top of that. Initially, it was just going to be a $40 expansion added on for just the campaign, but they decided to add a bit more to it and made it pretty awesome. But then it also makes you think, well, Firefight's coming back, right? Like that's what they would do. Well. Maybe, maybe not, or maybe something completely different. 343 has never had a firefight mode at launch. It later was patched in in a way through Warzone in Halo 5, but it doesn't necessarily have the same feel as the firefights for ODST and uh, for Halo Reach had as well. The big emphasis on utilizing the Rex system in this and also just reusing the maps from Warzone and having the way the spawns worked on it, it's just kind of seen random locations. You just kind of Go to different locations throughout the map where uh, the firefight mode that came with odst and also with reach the maps were specifically designed for firefight and they play out a lot better and they're much more enjoyable experience to play don't get it wrong though firefight and halo 5 was a casual fun experience to kind of just jump in and blow some stuff up when you're just like man just i don't want to try a multiplayer just kind of go up in some stuff it's a great thing to do. So I just feel like if Firefight was going to be in the game, they would mention it or something like that. They kind of ease people's concerns when it comes to the content that's going to be in this game. Now, does Firefight technically fall under multiplayer? I mean, yes, you're playing with multiple people. So I think when you're saying Halo multiplayer, I think a lot of people are initially thinking like 4v4 Slayer multiplayer. Plus, cutting off certain sections of the game for the free to play version and the paid version will get more people to incentivize to jump in and pay for that stuff. Much like with Call of Duty right now with the Warzone game mode, that's free to play. But if you want to play the regular multiplayer, if you want to play Spec Ops, if you want to play the campaign, yeah, dish up that 60 bucks to pay for the game. Which I think is a fair trade off as Warzone is a great way for a free to play model to get people to jump into the gameplay of Modern Warfare to get a chance to play feel how, it, how it's like and if they like the mechanics of it they can jump over to the multiplayer side of things and I have a feeling that 343 and Microsoft are going to be trying to pull off a similar kind of feeling with Halo Infinite with the free to play multiplayer which I'm assuming is going to be like your core multiplayer experience and if you want to play other modes like Firefight, the campaign or whatever kind of crazy mode that they're putting together that we don't know about at all that would be a really big incentive to the people to jump in and pay for the full price of the game with the recent delay as well of halo infinite that it makes me feel like there's just something else that 343 is working on that they just haven't announced yet like yes they're working on a new engine they're working on a new system but how many decades of halo multiplayer do we have to build upon like it's kind of straightforward when it comes to that stuff Obviously the campaign is a whole new experience we've never really had before with Halo. Unless this campaign is looking to be like some semi open world live service kind of live event thing that they're looking to do, which would give a lot of replayability to the campaign. Though I just feel like there's just something else that's kind of holding back the team, some 
big new game mode or new feature that we've never seen before in a Halo game that would just blow our minds. And I think that would be possibly their main reason why they're getting a big push for the delay. Like, yes, obviously the graphics in the campaign weren't the best, but that's the game, dudes. Like, that's what we're going to get. Like, I think the only difference is when the game finally releases for the graphics, we'll just see improvements in the lighting engine and possibly some better textures, but this is what the game looks like. So I feel like having Firefight being a mode that would be an additional cost to it, I think wouldn't just be enough of an incentive unless you really went all out with Firefight. Like imagine just like a wide open world scaled kind of experience with like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 players? I don't know, like crazy things like that with some new networking systems they can put together with this game to just make something crazy. Flight Simulator utilizes Azure servers to stream data to you. I know Call of Duty's Warzone map does the same thing as well. They stream uh, the map to you as well, so you don't have to load the entire thing in. It helps on load times, helps on texture resolutions and things like that that load on your game. And so I can possibly see something similar happening with Halo Infinite. I would absolutely love to see some kind of crazy ground based or kind of arcadey version of PVE experience, which I think Halo has done such a great job on so over the decades that the franchise has been around. I've always felt like the PVE side of things of Halo have been super underutilized. Like, yes, we've had Firefight in the past, but it's never really been like a major game mode people jump in and focus on playing. I mean, could we have something similar to Strikes like we have in Destiny, where that game has its campaign, it has its round based PVE modes like Strikes and other things like that. And it has its own multiplayer, but most people play Destiny for the PvE side of things. So this is where I want to ask you guys, what do you think you'll, we'll see along with the campaign, if there's going to be anything else along with the campaign for Halo Infinite? Because I think just a straight up $60 price tag for just the campaign for Halo Infinite is a little steep. Unless 343 finds some crazy way to incentivize people who play the free-to-play multiplayer to buy the game, maybe to get some additional customization or content or something along those lines when it comes to the multiplayer or maybe just the multiplayer is just like just team slayer you can play for free i highly doubt that i think we're talking the entirety of the multiplayer like player versus player kind of stuff maybe if you own the full version of the game you get like an additional 20 tiers on a battle pass something like that way or you're able to earn some in-game currency or something like that i don't just I'm just trying to think of ideas off the top of my head to where it incentivizes people who play the game for free to jump over and buy the full price version of the game for just a campaign. I don't know, or just like find some way to kind of give people an incentive to, you know, buy that game for it to be an additional bonus for playing the multiplayer. Though my strong feelings on this are definitely that there's some kind of unique crazy mode that's gonna be coming in the retail version of the game that we just don't know yet because you know every Halo game has a big announcement right some new game mode some new crazy thing that's like this is pushing the industry forward. We haven't had any kind of bombshell game mode or mode that's been announced with this game. Or could we see Spec Ops returning but actually having it being fun? I don't know. There's a lot of different things that can happen right now with this game. If you like these kind of discussion videos, I really appreciate you guys checking out the video. If you're missing content for me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.